Mr. Joe Cujo. Hello, so today I'll be showing you guys five new castle tips that will make you play the legend better. Now, I know using new castle can be complicated at times in terms of using his ult not being responsive and his tactical just not being placed properly. Now, these tips won't help solving that, but it will help you to place them more successfully. Now, the first tip is using his tactical for Entry Fragging. Now, Entry Fragging is when a member of a team attempts to kill one enemy are putting that initial big damage on an enemy team so his teammates can push up. Let's just say there's a whole team here, so you pull up, try to knock one, and throw down your tactical shield to prevent yourself from getting team shot. Then make your teammates push up. Now, the distance you are from the enemy team matters a lot because if you're too far, you're basically just shield farming, and if you're too near, you might just get jumped. So you just have to find or be that sweet spot to properly enter for a squad. The second tip is using Newcastle tactical for peeking. Now, what I mean by this is that let's just say you want to look around the corner on a team or you're clearing a building. Newcastle tactical is transparent, so peeking to get that information is really easy. That's why Gibby is a peeking master because his gun shield is kind of like the same thing. The third tip is always trying your best to save Newcastle's ultimate for escaping or getting to an advantageous position. Newcastle's ult is your only lifeline to save your disengaged tough situations. You're gonna have to always make disengaging your top priority when using his ultimate, so use it sparingly. The fourth tip is using Newcastle's ultimate for flanking and safety flanking. Now the word flanking in gaming basically means setting yourself up in different angles on an enemy team to wipe them out. So safety flanking isn't too hard to understand. Now when flanking with Newcastle, let's just say you're having a mid-range battle and you want to quickly just wipe this team out. You can simply just jump to an advantageous angle then clear them out. Just make sure not to jump too close because your placing animation might just cost you the game if they decide to push you. So you have to have good estimation. Now safety flanking is when you get to a good angle on foot to put pressure on an enemy team but sometimes those positions don't stay advantageous for very long so what you'll do is make sure your teammates are in a good position so you can jump back to them when shit hits the fan that's why playing rate or pathfinder is always good for this even though this still basically seems like just disengaging but you're actually using it as an escape card when flanking a team on foot the fifth tip, which is the most important of them all, and that is being very mindful of your squad, because most of Newcastle's abilities are very team dependent. You have to be there for your teammate the moment they go down. You have to throw your shield at your teammates to protect them if you see them getting hurt. And you have to be there for when your teammates get surrounded so you can fly in to fight alongside them. I know it's upsetting and sad playing with selfish randoms, but this is what it means to play the heroic defender Newcastle. Choo-choo!